We're on a mission to keep global warming below two degrees. It might sound impossible, but we're already working on ways to help decarbonize industry, especially power. Electricity powers so many things we love and need, and it fuels economic growth. But creating electricity also creates carbon. The Earth can manage carbon naturally, but it's gotten way out of balance. We should accelerate the use of renewable energy sources whenever they are available. That's a given. But when they're not, we rely on carbon emitting solutions to keep the lights on. We must increase our action and investment in technologies to reduce carbon emissions. Solutions such as low carbon fuels like hydrogen and carbon capture utilization and storage. At GE, we know that carbon capture utilization and storage is one of the best tools we can implement today at scale. Carbon dioxide capture and utilization is a promising way to address carbon neutrality by capturing carbon dioxide emissions and using them to produce valuable products. Electrochemical conversion of captured carbon dioxide has been active in recent years, and carbon dioxide capture technology is gradually developing. Common capture methods include amine and alkaline solutions and the use of porous nanomaterials. Amine-based capture solutions are a promising technology for carbon dioxide capture. Carbon dioxide reacts with primary and secondary amines to form a stable carbomate solution, which is fed into an electrolysis cell where some is heated to release. Carbon dioxide and some is reduced directly to other chemicals. Amine-based capture solutions have the advantage of fast absorption rate and carbon dioxide conversion selectivity and activity that can be controlled by the catalyst, but high temperature energy is required to release carbon dioxide, and amine-based systems have the disadvantage of low efficiency. Aqueous alkaline capture solutions carbon dioxide, and then convert it to carbonate or bicarbonate. A bipolar membrane is used to enable electrolysis of the captured solution. Electrolysis of the carbonate capture solution can be performed to convert carbon dioxide into other products. Additionally, it has the advantage of integrating carbon dioxide capture and electrochemical processes into one device, improving the efficiency and economics of the system. However, in aqueous electrolytes, the inevitable side reactions of oxygen evolution reaction at the anode and hydrogen evolution reaction at the cathode cause voltage loss increase electrochemical energy consumption and have the disadvantage of high price of bipolar membrane. Porous nanomaterials have a dominant influence on pore size when tailoring porous materials for the separation of carbon dioxide from gas mixtures. Porous nanomaterials can efficiently capture carbon dioxide using a high surface area and contain catalytic metals such as cobalt, which have excellent electrical conductivity and can promote conversion reactions of carbon dioxide making them metal organic frameworks with various structures are being widely studied. The first study to propose the use of porous materials as dual functional capture media and electrodes was reported in 2017. In addition to the basic understanding of carbon dioxide capture and conversion, collective research has also been conducted on better electrode catalyst and electrolyte design and reaction process engineering. It is urgently needed. Amine-based capture solution CCU systems can achieve high conversion efficiencies of carbon dioxide, but have high energy costs. The alkaline capture solution CCU system is highly efficient and economical using an integrated system, but has low durability and high bipolar membrane price. Bifunctional porous electrode approaches have recently emerged for integrated CCU capture and electrolysis and are still in the early stages of development. These factors limit the application of CCU integrated systems and require additional development and engineering skills in terms of both materials and systems. Additionally, electrolysis systems need to improve their economic feasibility by increasing their selectivity and activity for multi-carbon products such as ethylene, ethanol, and acetate.